All right, so let us uh, determine the moment produced by the force about the AB axis. Do you see that saying? The, determine the moment produced by the force which tends to rotate the rod about the OA axis. This is moment about an axis. What's my equation for a moment about an axis? The magnitude equals U, U dot R cross F. Magnitude of the moment equals U dot R cross F. Now, it does not ask for the magnitude. It asks for the actual moment about an axis. All right? Uh, and so, but the only equation I've got is going to give me the magnitude. So at the end of the problem, when I'm, when I'm almost done, when I think I'm done, I've got one more step, which we talked about last time. I've got one more step. I need to dot it with U. But don't, don't worry about this right now. The, the equation, the only equation we have is for the magnitude. And so first, let's find the magnitude. All right, let's find the magnitude of, let's see, what axis? Axis A, B. So this would be U of AB. This would be R that goes from anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the line of action of the force. And then, of course, the force. Um, the force right there. All right, so so here I think this one you can see why we might want to do the what's the moment about an axis because we're, we're kind of concerned with these these hinges you know how strong do they need to be how tight do they need to be so i want to know okay what is the rotation about this axis right here what is the rotation about this axis all right i like to break it up into three small problems let's find the u unit vector of the axis let's find the r that goes from the axis to the force and then let's find the force all right all three of those as IJK vectors, and then I can do my um, dot and cross part. I like to do them all in one step. All right, so what is U of AB? Well, it's R of AB over uh, the magnitude of R of AB. So this would be, all right, R, let's see, from A to B, this vector right here would be 0.4 in the i plus 0.2 in the j, nothing in the k, dividing it by its magnitude. Why am I dividing it by its magnitude? Because we're looking for a u, and a u is divided by its magnitude. So the u is 0 0.89, let's see, 0.8944, in the I plus 0.4472 in the J. I like to go ahead and plug it into my calculator. Go ahead and give me four, five significant figures, decimal places, um, and then we'll write that down and carry that through. So there's my U right there. There's my U. Uh, how about my R? I need an R that goes from the axis to the force. Sometimes you have a lot of options. I can kind of go from A to C. I could kind of go from B to C. Technically, I could go from somewhere in the middle to C, or here to here, or let's see here. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think would be the easiest R, anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the line of action of the force. How about from here to here? This point right here is on the line of action of the force, I'm just going 0 0.6 in the I, right? I'm going 6 in the I. You could try some other things. A to C, B to C, B to, we'll call that D or something like that. Um, we should get the same value. We should get the same value. So choose the easiest. Choose the simplest R that you can. All right, got it. Uh, and now the force. The force is 300. I got to write it in IJK, but I think we're we're in luck here, right? It is just all in the K, right? Negative K, negative 300 in the K, negative 300 in the K. So this will turn out easy enough, I think. Let's see here. All right. So now that I've got that, I'm ready to do my um, three by three. This dot and cross product and all in one step the magnitude of the moment about axis a b what i put across the top i put my u 0.8944 in the i 0.4472 in the j nothing in the k 
then my r is 0 0.6 0 0 my f is negative 3 oh, 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 wrong place there 0 0 negative 300 so I'll uh, be careful with those zeros put those as placeholders and also it, it has to be in this order it has to be u u r f you can't mix those up and get the same answer or can't mix them up and get the correct answer all right, so what 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 is this going to be? This is going to be my first one is 0.8944 times that minus that, which is 0. Okay, minus, let's see, 0 0.4472 times that, there we go, 0 0.6, negative 300, minus that, which is 0, plus this, which is zero so it doesn't really matter what that is i multiply it times zero so that's zero so there's really kind of only one uh thing here that times that would give me the magnitude of my moment would be 80.5 let's see eight zero point five newton meters now i was about to box that in but i think then i remembered let me go back up in problem statement it doesn't ask for the magnitude of the moment, okay? It asks for the moment. I even bolded it right here to remind you, hey, that's a vector. Give it, give it to me as a vector, all right? So what do I do? I have one more thing to do. Here's its magnitude. Its action is along axis A, B. It's action is along axis A, B. So remember, F equals F, U. Let's, let's just remember, M equals M, U. So just take the magnitude, 80.5, and multiply it times the U. Now, which U? This is the U of the axis. So if this is axis A, B, A, B, A, B. This U, A, B. Now, I kind of warn you not to reuse things. Like, don't reuse an R that you've already used for some of these. They're new. But this one, yes, you can. You have already found that U. You can, and you need to reuse that U. 0.8944 in the I. 0.4472 in the J. Multiply that through. And now we do have I's and J's and K's. The moment about axis a b caused by this force 72 in the i plus 36 in the j units newton meters units newton and box that in all right so take a step back i noticed it was moment about an axis so i, I put u dot r cross f then I, I broke it up found a u found an r found an f Plugged it into my uh, determinant, did the math, came out as a value with no I's, J's, K's. Um, but I wanted it in as a vector as it, with I's, J's, K's. So I need to multiply it times its U. That's my one last step for problems like this where it asks for the t actual moment about an axis as opposed to the magnitude of the moment about an axis.